So let's uh, look at the way we deploy a native application. By default, any app that we build in Application Craft is available as a web app, as we can see here. That's running in a separate window. Uh, if I want to deploy that now for real, um, before we actually go and do the build process, I'll just point out a couple of useful properties. One is the native app splash image. This allows us to select a particular image from our resource area uh, that displays while the app is loading in native mode. Uh, page transitions are interesting but beyond the scope of this video and then we have the phone gap options this is useful this tells uh, particularly Android what device features your app is going to use okay let's now go out of here and we'll look at um, our integration with phone gap build so this apps now ready to compile into a native app and to, to do that, I select the app on the left-hand side, come to the More button, select Mobile, and now here we have uh, a dialog that shows you the... Uh, it will always have this top left one. That can be downloaded even. That is the web app. Download here the HTML and JavaScript files that actually can run completely independent of uh, application craft. Then here are the individual binaries, which I can then download and deploy um, it's all pretty simple apart from for Apple which is slightly less simple. Um, now in order to actually run this I first must have set up a PhoneGap account so you need to go to build.phonegap.com and set up your account there and then once you've set that up you actually need to tell Application Craft something about how to log into that. So if I come to the More tab and then go to um, Account then on the left hand side you'll find an entry called phone gap parameters and here for instance is uh, um, are some logon details as you provided in phone gap build once you've done that you're able to uh, from that point on you're able to use immediately the options shown here